Hey guys, so who hasn't thrown yet? We haven't Not really? Okay. So we'll talk for a minute and then get our arms loose. Um, so just after we get done talking, let's just get the bases in. So do you guys remember where the bases were last time? Yeah. Okay. Just get the bases in and the scoop's right there. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, just to recap a couple things. What do you guys remember from, excuse me, from last week? Cuts. Cuts? What about them now? Like shortstop has to line up right there to if we're going, if we're going to third. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. To um, get the tag, and then go on this side of the base and go, there you go. Right here. Then bring it across. Good. There we go. Good. Anybody else? Never mind. I wasn't here last time. You asked me if I was here. Nope, I wasn't. No, you weren't. I was gonna say, yeah, I didn't think you were here. Where's Hunter at? He's at a, a he football a game, championship okay. football game. Well, good for him. Yeah, working on tagging him in the hips. Tagging him. Oh in yeah, the that hips. was cool. All right, good. That was sweet. Okay, yeah, Hunter went down. Um, at your feet. Okay, break down, right? Yeah. Uh, when we're going back to cuts and relays, when we're cutting and relay, relaying the ball, what do we do when we're going? Uh, out to our outfielder. Hold on one second. Go Ducks! Yeah, nice freaking jersey right there. <laughs> yeah, go Ducks! <laughs> sorry guys. I'm a duck, so sorry about that. Okay, anyway, when we're going out to get lined up, what do we do with our hands? Target. Present the target. You guys remember the demonstration I had last time? Where you were turned around? Oh yeah. yeah. What's the first thing that they see? Face. Well, if your hands aren't up, the first thing they see is your face, right? So when we pick the ball up and we look, okay, the first thing we're going to see is their hands, or if they don't have their hands, then who knows what we're going to see. Most of the time it's just their face, okay? Uh, but we want to present a target early. When we're lining up to the base, where should our feet be? Outside. Good. Outside the target, right? Where are our hands? Okay. Up. Good. Okay. And then as far as you guys lining yourselves up, or you guys uh, doing it on your own? Have you guys, you know, do you have a preference with that? Would you rather have them line themselves up? Or? Oh. Um, it doesn't well, I would matter. say line yourselves up, but if the person isn't lining themselves up, then the yeah. person that's, that gets being cut to have them line them up. Say, no, no, left, left, or right, right, you know? That makes sense to you guys? Okay, so what happens with that is when you go out, you just need to make sure that your head's on a swivel. You're not just running aimlessly all over the place. Make sure your head's on a swivel and you get yourself lined up uh, with the outfielder and the bag. That makes sense to you guys? Okay, as far as verbal stuff goes, do you remember the verbal stuff that we talked about? Kind of? Echo? What is it? Uh, the third baseman and first baseman echo what the catcher says. Yep, yep. See, we even had that come up today in one of our scrimmages. Our third baseman wasn't quite loud enough, and our middle guys didn't throw the ball to the right spot. Okay, but if you're a middle guy, you still don't don't always just rely on who's saying what. You guys have to make sure that you rely on your instincts as well. Okay, which comes into knowing the speed of the runner, knowing the 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 speed of the ball. So don't just necessarily rely on what they're telling you. You should be able to have your head on a swivel and make that decision for yourself as well. Does that make sense to you guys? But as soon as the baseballs hit to the outfield, you're right. Our first and third baseman echo what the catcher says. Okay, and as the play develops, if it's deep and they start calling 2-2-2, two, 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 or 3-3-3, three, 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 we change the call and say 3-3-3, three, 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 right? Okay, what's the other thing that the first baseman needs to do? Step back and look if he touches the ball. Yep, okay, you, actually, you can step back or step forward but you need to make sure the batter runner, the guy that hit the ball, is touching the bag as he's rounding the bag. Make sense? Okay. And what I meant as far as verbal stuff goes, is what do you guys remember about cut, hold, relay, keep, anything? What do you guys remember? Nothing? Are our brains just like fried from schoolwork today or what? Yeah? Well, let's get through this, okay? What do you guys remember? What is cut? For, for me, cut is we cut the ball and go somewhere else. 
Okay, when I say, when I catch the ball and call keep, keep, that just basically means I catch it and I'm keeping the ball with me. Relay means what? Come on, guys. What does relay mean? Everybody should know this. We already talked about it. Yeah. In our own practices. When you say relay, relay, what does that mean for the cut person? What? I can't hear you. Catch the ball and throw it. Are okay. we all right today? You sure? Okay. Because uh, we've, got, we've got a little bit of time and we're going to need to see a little bit better focus than that. Because okay? those are pretty simple questions. So we need to make sure that we're... You guys remember about the term last week where I said being present? Being here? Doesn't seem like all you guys are here right now. Okay, so I want you to take a deep breath. Fill it, make fix sure. it. Yep, exactly. Take a deep breath. I want everybody to take a deep breath right now and get your eyes back up. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Yes, coach. Okay, thank you. If you guys aren't in the mode of being here, you gotta get it fixed right away. It's gonna be a long day or you're not, you're not gonna get a lot of stuff done. Make sense? Okay, so as far as all that stuff goes, that's pretty much the recap to it, okay? And then we're gonna kinda just build on that and then we're probably gonna go out, out in the outfield and do a little scenario thing that I like to do, okay? Uh, you have a question? I remember something else. Yeah, go like ahead. Like when you're in the infield, you have your glove off and then when you get your glove on, then that means that you're ready to go. Great job, Nick. That's awesome, okay? So for you guys that weren't here last time, what we do with that is that's just the mental key for us is Anytime our glove's on, we shouldn't be thinking about anything else but baseball. If our glove's off, that's when we can kind of just relax, get all the anxiousness out, and then as soon as we put our gloves back on, we're ready. We're focused and ready to go. Great answer. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay? So what we're going to do first is since we haven't thrown quite yet, I want everybody to throw for about five to seven minutes, and then we're going to move into a scenario deal. And I Okay, square it up, right? What was the next thing? Step yep. Step to catch. That's on the way back in. Okay, so we got shoulders open. Okay, we're rotating our shoulders. Then we're just shuffling and throwing. Then we get into position specific. And then we get into tolerance catch, whatever your arm feels like. And then we work our way back in. When we work our way back in, it's step to catch, and then it's quick catch. Or we're just getting rid of it as quick as we can. Make sense to you guys? Pretty simple, right? So for you guys that haven't thrown, make sure you grab a baseball. Stay off the line out there, because it's a little bit beat up, all right? So stay off the line out there, and we'll get going. So just about seven minutes-ish to get it going. And then the rest of you guys can come with me. Really quick is the bases, this will be home plate. Okay, and it, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter if we're exactly on with the, the, uh, the dimensions as far as it goes, okay? I don't want to use the infield right now because, you know, it'll take too long to get all the tarps off to have you guys set it up the right way, so I don't want to waste that much time getting it set up, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is, this is a drill that I really like, okay? It's called Beat the Infielders. And all it is, is it's just on a regular diamond, like we'd be doing out there, and we're just going to set it up out here, okay? Oh, and when we're done, you guys will need your bats. So all that will happen is, we'll have a hitter at the plate, okay? Sorry, I didn't think you would. Off of the tee. Hopefully we can get it set up a little bit straighter. He's going to hit the baseball off of the tee, okay? And the objective of the drill is to try and beat an infielder which means you're trying to hit hard line drives on the ground, on the ground and past the infielders. Okay, now the way we do this is obviously you want to have a good flat level swing, hit through the baseball, all that good stuff, but the way it happens is if you guys hit a pop-up, okay, you go chase it, you go get it, and then you come back. Because the objective of the drill is not to hit pop-ups, it's hit <coughs> hard ground balls past your infielders. It's for infield work. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, and then you manip we can manipulate it and put it into situations where we have a runner on first, first and second, bases loaded, 
all those things. We won't need anybody playing the outfield. We'll just set it up as purely as the infield, okay? And all that'll happen, like I said, is we'll have a guy here, and we can set the tee up certain ways to where he has to pull it, to where he has to hit it that way, whatever. He takes a swing, and then he takes off to first base to try and beat it out. And obviously the defense tries to get him out. Okay, it's called beat the infielders. Pretty simple. So what I need is you guys to grab the bases and get them set up. Okay, it's about 30 steps. Okay, 30 steps is about 90 feet. And then we're gonna need your helmets and your bats. Okay, let's hop to it. Hop to it, hop to it, hop to it. So uh, you didn't bring your helmet because I told you not to, right? Zach, is your helmet in there? Oh, Ricky, sorry. Ed. I should have told you. That's all right. What's that? Okay, go get your helmet. That's all. Oh. Hit a ground ball past them. That's it. We'll go get the baseballs later. Okay, but if let me see your bat really quick. What's up? Hey, here we go. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pay attention. So all that's gonna happen is. The ball's going to be hit off the tee. You guys got to make a play. Okay, if the ball's hitting the outfield just let, or past you on a fly, just let it go. Okay, so all that's going to happen is I'm not going to run, but these guys will run. Ready? Oh, that's just a good swing. Let me see the ball. Man, that's a lot of power. If it's a line drive like that, you don't have to go get it. Make a play. Good. If you had a line drive and they catch it like that, it'd be right. Hustle back to your spot. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. One more. Hey, A, B, 4, B. Hey, listen, guy. Hang on, coach. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Last one, and then Get these guys will do three. it. Three, two, Athletic three. position. Go. And then I'll tell you guys where basically I want you to set up. Get that mid in. You guys see that I'm there you go, because you got to be able to turn, right? Get your mid in, Crane. And then you guys are right by your hip. Ready? Wait, so you're gonna Stay with them. Gonna... Nope, you guys are going to hit them. Nice. You guys need to be ready to hit right away, because if they pop it up, they're Sorry. just going to go take off and go get it, and the next guy should be ready. Okay? And then I want you guys to feed the baseball. Here we go. Coach, we just yeah. Get it. Since all the physicians Wait, where do you want to hit it? No, go ahead and hit. Where do you want to hit Just go ahead and hit it. Yeah, he's, he's, there's a bat over there, Zach. Go, go, go. Stay down. So if you see something, will you just correct him on it? Yeah. Yep. Hustle back to your spot. Just toss it back in and hustle back. You can stay there, Cooper. Stay there for right now. We gotta run around first base. Go ahead. Turn it. Oh, gotta catch it. Tyrese, stop coming up, big man. You keep coming up every time. Okay? Is it Jason? Yeah, Come on up. Here we go. Use, use, doesn't go. matter which bat you use, just use whatever bat you want. Somebody beat an infielder. Hit it right past him. Come on. Hit Zach right will do it. Come on, Zach. Stay with it. Get it, Tyson. Go. Let it 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 go. Tyson. Tyson. Doesn't listen to his coat. Okay, I want you to. As soon as he's ready, I want you to set it up towards third base. Go get it. Go get it. No fly balls. Go ahead and head towards the thing. On the ground. Come on. Beat it out. Good. You got some work to do, boys. I didn't miss him. What was wrong with that? Staying off. It was coming off. Coming off a lot. Okay. Guys! Okay, yeah, we're on the grass. The grass is about as easy as it gets to catch a ground ball. It's very predictable. It's not going to bounce up on you. Okay, stay down. I don't want to see anybody else do this anymore. You're on the you're on the grass. You're not gonna get hit in the face, I promise by a bad hop. 
Come on, stay down. Go ahead, short stop. Watch out, dude. Beat it. Oh. Catch the ball with two hands. Good job, though. Good turn. Hey, guys, I need to hear you, okay? Did, did you guys say two or what? Yeah. All right, just be yeah, louder. It wasn't that loud. It wasn't that loud? No, no, no. Let's go with first base. Yeah. Try and hit in that three, four hole. Get there. One. One. Good, Nick. Way to stay down. Okay, we're going to go two more and then switch it up. Nope, come on off. Good swing. Come on back. Hustle back to your spot. Go ahead. Let's try five, six hole. That's a good swing. Good. Next step. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Five, six hole. See somebody hit it in the five, six. Ah, good swing. Good swing. Last one right here. Hustle back. Stay there. Here we go. Uh, let's go right up the middle. See if you can beat him right up the middle. Good. good. Switch it up. Good hustle, Zach. Good job, boys. Tyrese. Oh yeah, they don't have three people, so. Hustle, Zach. Okay, Keep Zach, it. you're third. Second. Third. Cooper, can I use this? Here we go. Okay, I want you guys over here, though. I don't want anybody getting hit. Let's get over, Coop. Third base is over here. Let's go five, five, six, let's see if you can do it. Beat it up. Beat it up. Get up! Nice play, that a boy. Wow, beautiful. Hey, way to watch it to your mitt, kid. Way to be athletic. That was really nice right there, Jason. That a boy. Okay, let's go second base. Beat it up. Uh-oh, go get it. That's too far. That's a fly ball. We need grounders. Second base, Craig. Get a grounder, Craig. Need the ball though. <laughs> yeah, beat it out, beat it out. Nice job. Third base, man. I'll take that. Third base, third base, third base. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Oh. A, A, B. Yep. A before B. Catch it and grab him. Make sure you're athletic when you come off. You look like you're kind of lazy on that, okay? Be athletic and watch it all the way in and then come down for the tag. Good, Cooper. Way to stay down. Shortstop. Hey, nice putt, Cooper. Way to keep your butt down. Nice job on that. Shortstop, shortstop, shortstop. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Good try. Good hustle, Tyson. Did he need to come off yeah, on that, there. Tyrese? He didn't need to come off. I don't think so. Hey, Tyrese, did you need to come off on that, or could you let the ball come to you? It wasn't anywhere crazy, right? Let it come to you. Zach, play over here. Uh, five, six. Uh, oh, go get it. Yep, let's go ahead and go get it. Tyson, go back. Grounder. Short shot. Throw it. Good. Let's make sure we're transferring with two hands, Cooper. 
Stay there, Craig. We might need some work on that, Coach, where you talk about where they're supposed to be standing on a double play coming from the left side and the right side. We are going to need work on that. Okay, good. For sure. Oh, one, one, one. Good, Zach. As soon as you bubble it, good. Come on off, Creighton. Okay, Tyrese, you need to hustle over here. Creighton, you go get your mitt and go first, okay? okay. Tyrese needs to have a chance to hit. Just a second. Got to have a first baseman, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're next, Tyrese, after Tyson. Just use somebody else's bat. Okay, here we go. Down and ready, athletic. Let's go, boys. Oh, no. Is that your second one in a row, Tyson? No. Two out of three. Two out of three, okay. Also. Good, good swing, that a boy. Good swing. Wow. Ah, Excellent work, Nick. That's beating an infielder right there. Good job. Stay there, Nick. Stay there. Wherever, wherever. Go get it. Pretty good swing, but go get it. Stay there, Nick. Third base. Third base. Mm. Athletic position. Nowhere to go. Pick it. It's all right. Good try. A little quicker. Good job, guys. All right. Okay. So not a bad job. Not a great job either, though, right? We still have a lot of work to do with that. Okay, we're going to do this again. So we're going to manipulate it a little bit. We're going to go first and second now. Okay, first and second. And then we might go bases loaded. Kind of just depends on the timing. Okay, with first and second, all that's going to happen, and, and this is more towards the left side of the infield. Okay, third baseman, if it takes you towards the bag, you step on the bag and throw to first, right? If it takes you to, towards second base, you throw it to second base. Shortstop, if the ball's in the hole, try and get it out of third base. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, base runners, obviously you have to go if the ball sit on the ground. Okay, the other thing is, is base runners, Get in the habit of not freezing on a line drive, of going back on a line drive, okay? So for us at our level, if you freeze on a line drive and just stop where you're at, you're gonna be out, okay? The arms and reactions are just too good. So our guys learn, and as soon as they see the ball hit on a line, it's back, and then they go through. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we're gonna try and get used to now. As far as the double plays go, we're, we're gonna go over that in just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go over this scenario again, then go over double plays and how we should turn those. Okay, the, the thing that you guys can control right now, without me talking to you guys in depth about double plays, is trying to get one out before you get two outs. Okay, you have to get the first one before you can get in the second one. We're getting a little bit too quick on trying to get a double play. That makes sense. So make sure we secure the ball, toss it through, throw it. However the ball is going to second base, we need to make sure we secure it out, okay? If we bobble the ball at first, or if we bobble the ball, we're going to first base. Make sense? In a double play scenario, we always, always, always have to make sure we get one out, whether that's at first base or second base. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Okay? 
So I want you guys to hustle back to your spot, runners at first and second. So switch, guys. Yep, go ahead and switch it back up. Can we go a little bit more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you at, Creighton? All right. Yeah, you bet. You got enough stickers on your helmet? Not quite. Not quite. First and second, where are my base runners? I got second. I'll help you out and hit. As soon as they're ready, let's see if you can hit it in five, six hole, and let's see how they decide or where they decide to go with the ball. Good. One, 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 or tag him. Did you get him? Yeah. Okay. Make sure you remember to try and tag him with two hands. You tag him with one right there, that ball's probably going to pop out. Got a little bit lucky right there. Chase. Go ahead and take it. Let's go where. Right, right at the shortstop. Well, that's fine because you're going to win anyway. Hey, not a job, bad Tyrese. job in the middle. Not a bad job. You just got to give him a better feed, right? Second baseman. Everybody listen up to this. That plays the middle. Remember, it's just like the cutoff drill. The first thing that they see from catching the ball and coming up is your hands or your lack of hands being there. So as soon as he catches the ball, my hands should be ready to give him a target. Make sense? You guys need to make sure you're doing that every single time, and then the ball should be thrown right to that target. Okay, here we go. And just a reminder, say flip or hot, right? Okay, here we go. Good swing. Oh! We might have had a triple play right there. Okay, a couple things though. That's a good swing by Tyrese. Nice job, bro. We got down through the ball. What did we do wrong though? We just talked about this. What Was the ball hit on a line? Yeah, the ball was hit on a line, so what do we do? Guys, come on. What do we do when the ball is hit on the line? You go back. Just talked about this, you go back. That's a triple play if we throw the ball to second. Go back on a line drive, come on. Okay, let's go with trying to get the five six. Good. 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 You think you have a play there, Tyson? Uh, not really. No? Okay, that's all right. That's what we're doing this for, to so try and get a feel for it. Hey, Coop, let's go with second base. Good swing. Got a double play. Yeah, good job. Good baseball all the way around. Good swing, good defense right there. Hey, Nick, just one thing. Everything was great. Just make sure you get your hands up. That's all. Good job, kid. Foul ball, leave it. Hustle back, Zach. Do it again. Five, six, oh. Uh, that's all right. Hustle in, Zach. Here, I'll hit for you. Here we go. Hey, everybody ready? Here we go. Where are we going with it? Good. Nice. Nick. Nick. Throw, though. That's a little too far away from the base. Good job, though. Go ahead, Zach. I want to see if we can hit a ball right in the five, six hole so the shortstop has to throw it to third. Base. Give me a run at first base. Make that fifth. Let's see if he can do it. Okay, here we go. Good, 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 good. Oh, dang it. 
Okay. Do you want him sliding like that? No. Nick, good job of getting to the ball. Try and stay on your feet. Now here's the thing. If you caught that ball, where would you have gone? Third, good answer. Okay, Tyson, good job of trying to go for it and then getting back. The only other thing that we need to do there, besides catch the ball, is call three. Say three, three, three if you see it. Make sense? Okay, last one and we'll switch. Let's go, let's try that again. Five, six, Jordan. Good. Uh, good hustle, Nick. Probably got to play it third. Here we go. Last one. I'll hit. Dyson, where were you trying to go with that? Good. Second? First? That ball's hit hard enough to go to second right there. Try and go to second. Ready? Good. Good, I saw some I saw some people going back on a line right there. Nice job, let's switch it up. Okay, if you are not on a base, get on a base. We got some hard breathing going on right now. Let's see here. Creighton, were you at first? Yeah, I was. Okay. First. All right, you go first, Zach. This is short stop. Uh, Zach, you go short. Okay, I need to run back first and second, remember? Hey, hang on. You two switch. Tyson, you switch with Tyrese, okay? This drill makes sense to you, though, Mike. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I'm really surprised that they haven't hit more pop-ups, so that's been good. Yeah. Because that's the thing that we punish them for hit pop-ups. They got to go get it. Okay. Okay, well, let's go with five, six, oh. Close. Wow. No slide. Don't slide, Nick. Middle guys. Middle guys, pretty good job. Zach, flip that. Cooper, two hands. Two hands, two hands. Second base. Yep. Well, go get it. Go back, Creighton. You guys go back. Go back, Nick. Go back. Nick, go back to first. Nick, go back to first. Hustle. Uh-oh. Oh, stay on your feet. Tyrese, good job of trying for it and then going back. Zach, were you going to go third there? Got to catch it first. Stay on your feet. Uh, let's go third base. Third base. That works. Stay with it. Stay right there. Good. That's all right. Hustle in, Nick. Let's go with third base, okay? Just your bat. Third base. <laughs> the other third base. He's, it's force play, right, Tyrese? Tyrese, it's force play. Zach, good job, but that ball's right at you, right? So you probably want to try and go there. Ball's right at you, go to second. We have a better chance to turn double play there. Okay? Okay, we gotta get one to third base. Ball third base, please. Oh, that's all right, stay here. Stay there, stay there, stay there. That's okay. Good try, Zach. I saw some people going back on a line. Good job, guys. I can play right here. Come on. Good, good. Safe. Good try, though. Good try. We'll go two more. And shouldn't he be tagging the kid and then going? Well, I, I don't know how what far he was okay. from him. But the easiest thing would be basically, you know, when you advance, 
levels a little bit. It's easy just to catch and throw it to second okay. and get a double play. But if he's, I think he was probably like this from me to you. So he probably could have okay. just tagged him. Okay. And even gone to first. Okay. Because he's still for, forced at first at that point. Okay. Let's go with 5 6 hole. Oh, the other one. Dive! Good try, Cooper. Come on in, Nick. Good try. Hey, Tyrese, run to uh, short. Zach, go to second. Cooper, go to third. Hustle. We'll go two more now. Actually, I'm the king of that. One two more. That's good. <laughs> two more. Ready, Nick? Let's go right to... Let's go right to Tyrese. See what he does. Good. Awesome. Oh. Everything was great except the feed. You gotta give him a better feed. Last one. Come on. Last one. Second base. Second base, Jason. Here you go. Right to second. Oh, we got a double play. Gotta go back, Nick. One more time. Good swing. Nice job, Zach. Good swing. Good job, Tyson. On the, or on the ground to Zach. Good. A one, one, one. Okay, huddle back up. Do you want me to talk about double plays more or go just in the scenarios? So we got some work to. Yeah, whatever you think. Play. Whatever you think. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, what we'll do is you guys can grab a drink. We've got a lot of hard, hard breathing going on right now. Um, and then we're gonna move into some double play stuff. But you need to make sure, uh, if you can do it both, that, that's great. So we don't waste a ton of time. Grab a drink and pick up the balls that have been hit around. I think there's, there shouldn't be any past that which which sign and there shouldn't be any past the scoreboard. It should all be basically back there, okay? So grab a drink and then pick up the baseballs and we'll meet right here and go over some double plays. Okay guys, um, so what we're gonna do is go over some double play stuff, okay? Uh, I kinda wanted to watch and see what you guys had, had basically uh, been doing as far as double play stuff on your own so I could kind of evaluate and then go from there, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I, I'll need somebody to grab uh, second base and put it in uh, the bag in the bag over here okay and there's a scoop right there and then we're gonna go over basically um, how we turn double points okay? uh, <coughs> has ever does everybody kind of play the middle infield at some point probably except what you and you is that about it yeah okay. that's right okay so we'll talk about uh, some different stuff with you guys okay but I want half the line or half of you guys at shortstop and half of you guys at second. And then somebody grab a base and put it in and we'll go from there. Make sense? Okay, where are the bases at, Coach? Uh, they're right around the corner to the left. corner of that gate, yep. Okay. There's a bunch of them. Who's going to take charge and go get that base? It's like Tyrese, though. So, Coach, with the catcher, is he calling the infield plays as well or just the outfield? Just the outfield. Because the infield knows what to do. Just yeah, in front of him, right? Yeah. yeah. They should. That's where the echo comes because it's in the outfield. Yep, exactly. So as far as where to play, you know, if it's no outs, two's going to play back, short's going to play back, third is right along with the base, and the first right along with the base, am I right? Yeah, and it just depends on the header too, like, I, it's hard for me because I don't know if, like, how many people, like, like in our level, a bunch of people drag, drag bunt. So oh, okay. we have to, our third baseman moves in and back. And back. Okay, right, right, right. And so I don't know, like, do many people drag bunt with uh -uh. you guys? Uh -uh. A drag bunt is, is almost a swing. He's not just holding out yeah. there. You just, as you're running, you just boom and run, right? Yeah. So it's more Pretty of a much. power bunt because it's not going to yeah. yeah, swing kind of with it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So for me, I'd rather have a third baseman probably a couple steps behind the baseline just so they... It can cover more ground that way. Okay, okay. You know I mean? But short's way back, second's way yeah. back. But when there's when there's uh double play at that point, we'll talk about Yeah, that. yeah, okay. Okay, so okay, eyes back up here. Uh just put it right over here on the grass. 
Okay, you guys can stay at your spots if you'd like. Just Sorry, go ahead and listen up. Okay, yeah, let's just have you guys disperse and go to second and short. Okay, so I want you guys to get to your spot where you think uh, just regular depth with no no base runners on. Where do you think the second baseman should be? Right in that area? Okay, where should the shortstop be? With nobody on. Nobody on, nobody out. Let's have you deep, a little bit deeper. and Yep, right about where Jason's standing. Can you talk about why? Yeah, yep. Okay, why, why do you guys think we'd want to be in those spots? So you have time to get the ball, yep. Good, that's a good answer. What else? Because we want to be able to cover everything. Okay, if we're in here, that limits us in coverage. So it's harder for us to get to baseballs if we're way in here. Do you guys think it's easier to come get the ball or turn sideways and go get the ball? To come get it, right? So that's why we want to be back. We want to be back not too far, not exactly on the grass, just so we can take a better angle, the ball side to side of us and be able to come in. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Any questions with that? Okay, where's double play depth from there? Do you guys know? Okay, here's the general rule for double play depth with middle infielders. From your regular depth, your regular position, it's two steps in and two steps over. Does that make sense to you guys? So from wherever your regular spot is, it's two steps in, two steps over. So if there's a guy in first, yep. they're getting in their double play depth. Yep, first, runner at first base, double play depth, runner at second, first and second, double play depth, bases loaded, double play depth. Okay, unless With there's two less outs. Less than two outs, yep. yep. With less than two outs, you guys all clear on that? First and third, same thing, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Can you go over first and third what that means? With what exactly, just? Where they should be? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well maybe after this. Okay. But in first and third, you're still in double play depth through right now. That makes sense to everybody. Okay? Now as, if we're gonna talk about how we feel the baseball, how our footwork works around second base. Okay, so I want everybody to gather around back here. So I'll tell you, like much like our relays and cuts last week, I'll tell you our system and how we say things verbally, okay, and then go from there. So if the baseballs hit to, to shortstop and I'm a second base, say second baseman, the first thing I want to do obviously is approach the base or approach the base and say two 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 two. Okay, as I'm saying two 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 two, I should be presenting my target, right? Okay, it's the exact same thing we've been talking about. Our target has to be the first thing that our partner sees. Okay, now if, if we have time, this is how I prefer it. I played second base, and this is how I teach our second baseman to do it. They turn double plays pretty good. Okay, and if we have time to get to this side of the base, as a, a second baseman, we want to try and get to that side. Does anybody know why? What was that? You don't have to get out of the way, that's one. A little trip over the bag. Okay, do you think it takes longer for the ball to get to us standing here or right here? It takes longer to get there, right? We want to speed it up as much as we can. Okay, we want to speed it up as much as we can and obviously we want to try and get out of the baseline. Okay, so all, all that we're going to try and do is get to this side of the base, present our hands, give a good target, Catch the baseball, and basically all we're gonna do is move our right foot, left foot, and throw. Okay? That makes sense to everybody. Are there any questions with that? If we can't get there, if we can't get to this side of the base, we wanna obviously stay right here. Our foot doesn't ever wanna work on this side of the bag. Do you guys know why that is? So they don't slide into you. Nobody wants a broken foot, do they? So get it out of there. It needs to be right in this area. From that point, we can either catch and come back like this, 
We can catch and come back like that. And we can even catch and come across the bag, which we'll talk about all the different ones that we have. That makes sense to everybody? Okay, now as a shortstop, I want you guys to come around this side over here. As a shortstop, the exact same thing happens. Approach the bag, two, 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 two. We want to be on the, basically our right foot on this side of the bag. Okay, as soon as we see the, and this goes for second base as well, this is where step to catch comes into play. As soon as we see the line of the ball, wherever it's going, we step to catch it. If the ball's coming right at my chest, I step to catch it, and throw it to first base. That makes sense? Okay, we're not, we're not preset like this. Okay, if the ball's thrown over there, and then we're screwed. We're nice and balanced and broken down towards the back, two, 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 two. Ball's thrown out that way, we step to it, throw the baseball. Makes what if sense? it's thrown out here, coach? If it's what, thrown in this area, your, what's your feet work you like? basically try and get your left foot right here and your right foot out here and you gotta get an out. That makes sense? Okay, like I said earlier, the very worst thing that we can do, okay, or worst case scenario for us is we just get one out. We wanna always get one out. So if you guys have to turn into a first baseman or at second base, it's a bad throw. You have to stretch and get one out. You gotta stretch and get one out. It's unacceptable to get nobody out. If the ball's in our glove, it's unacceptable to get nobody out. That makes sense to you guys? Okay, now when we, when we toss and we throw, our guys don't say anything. Okay, for me, it's not important for the, the guy receiving the ball to know what's coming in my, in my eyes. Okay, they just have to be ready for the baseball. That makes sense. A lot of people like to say flip or toss or whatever. To me, it really, it doesn't matter. You guys can say it if you want. If you don't want to, if you guys have your own system, it doesn't matter. Everybody has their own system, okay? But you guys just have to understand there's a line. Okay, we're probably right in this area. Once you cross that line, it's you, you can't throw the baseball, okay? And it's probably different for everybody. Once you cross the line, towards the bag, you can't throw the ball. So basically, if it was for me, if you cross this line, you have to toss the baseball like this. You have to flip the baseball. Anything to the left of that, okay, I don't want to talk about, have you guys flipped this way? A little bit? No? Guys, you gotta answer, I don't know what you're saying. No. Okay, good. So all you're gonna do, anything, to this side then, we're gonna catch and throw the ball. That makes sense? We all clear on that? Okay, and then anything that's way out here that we can't get to, you should catch, spin and throw the ball. So there's basically three zones. One there, two, and three. That makes sense? That's the easiest way to think about it, is if we're in the one zone, we're tossing the ball, we're flipping the ball. Okay, if we're in the two zone, we're throwing. Three, we're spinning. Make sense? Okay, the, basically the only verbal that we like to use is if guys cross this line. If guys cross this line, the guy receiving the ball on our club says easy, easy, easy. Which lets the guy know that he's getting close to the back and he needs to slow down and not toss it too hard. Does that make sense? We don't ever want to have a hard toss. The closer we get to the bag, okay, the higher we need to toss the ball. Not like super high, but when we talk, if we're in this area, we don't ever want to toss it really firm and right in here. We want to toss it up so they can just catch it and throw it. That makes sense? Let's go over to short side. Okay, short stop, the same thing. The line should be right in this area. Okay, zone one, zone two, zone three, we're not spinning, right? There's no spin, obviously, over here. Okay, but if we get all the way to zone three, we've got to really hurry and throw the ball. Zone two, it's the same thing. But zone two, we can basically be like this. 
Zone three, we really just gotta bust our butt, backhand it, or somehow get in our glove and throw it. Zone two, it's just catch and throw it. Okay, same thing, if we cross this line, we like to say easy, easy, easy. Make sense to you guys? Uh, this is what I wanna caution you guys with in terms of flipping and throwing. If you guys catch the ball flat-footed, I don't want you to flip it. If you guys catch the ball flat-footed and you flip it, the first thing that usually happens is you stand straight up and then you end up moving this way with your arm. If you catch it flat-footed, just catch it and throw it like that. Okay, if we've got momentum behind us like this, that's when you should flip it. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, so all we're gonna do basically is go over the basics of, of the zones. Make sense? Okay, so I want my short stops over here and then second base at second base. Or at double play deck. All we're gonna do is rotate one at a time. I will not. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, totally. It's awesome. What's like your hot and well, that's just the hottest to throw it, and a, a flip is to flip it, but I like easy. Okay. And, and them understanding the zones is good, because easy is just like easy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because flip is like, uh, flip. Yeah. They get easy. It's, it's, it's better. Okay, so what I, what I want to see is, we're just going to go every other one. Okay, I'm going to roll the ball to you, second baseman. If you get there early, I want you to get on this side of the bag. If you're late, just get on that side. Does that make sense to you? So I'm going to toss one to shortstop, and I'm going to toss one to second. We're not throwing the ball anywhere. Don't worry about that. Okay, just catch the ball with two hands. Is that double play depth? There we go. Good. Okay, remember our zones here. Good. That's all right. Here we go. Just toss them back in. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, ready? Here we go, Cooper. Good. Good job. Guys, I, and I should have covered this a little bit better. Where do we want to throw the ball if we're throwing it to our partner? Chest, okay. I like to say our glove side shoulder because our hands are working right there to where we just transfer it like that. If it's kind of in our chest, it's a little bit harder. Glove side shoulder. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Tyree, stay there. Hold on one sec. Stay right there. Stay right there. You're about two steps that way, and you threw it about as hard as you could right there. A little bit easier, buddy. That's way too close. Ready, Zach? Yeah. Graydon, we got to say two, though, right? Yeah. Come on, boys. Just stay down though. Stay down, Jason. Don't come up after you caught it. All right, Tyson. Good. Wow, beautiful, good Tyson. For a big man right there, that a boy. I think we're gonna put you at two for now on. Great position with your feet, Zach. Way to break it down, also. Nice Tyson, target. Tyson, just make sure when you catch the ball, you just don't stand straight up. Guys, you should throw the ball from where you catch it. Which means if I catch it down here, I want to throw it from down there. I don't want to catch it, stand up, and then throw it. That takes too long. Way too long. Here we go. Two, 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 two. Good. There we go, Creighton. Yeah. Verbal. Did we switch it up? Because I think the nope. same people are doing nope. the same. Nope, I'll tell you. Two, 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 two. Good, hey, we got an easy call there. Good, Tyson. <laughs> Good. Good. Nice, Good job. nice. Nice and smooth right Maybe here. Maybe vocal. You look great. Your feet look great, kid. All right, let's see it, Tyrese. Stay down. Good. Good flip. Nice, Tyrese. Way to be in control, kid. Two, two, two. Good. Good. Come more. Get there. Oh, no, I beat you. 
Hop on there, somebody. Okay, go again. Get there. Come on, Jason, get there. Two, 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 two. Good, now just catch the ball with two hands, though. Don't catch it and then come up like this. Zach, you gotta just catch it, big man. Last two. Ah. Good. One more. Let's see it, Tyrese. Come on. Don't kill Tyson. Good. Good job. Okay, huddle back up. <clears throat> really good, really good. It looks better, guys. Okay, so we're going to go through a double play drill, and it'll involve everybody. Okay, I just call it one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty easy, in my opinion. Okay, it's all for second baseman, but it'll be good for all you guys to learn. Okay, so all it is is one right here, two, three, in this area, four, and five. Okay, now what that means is we're going to get ourselves presented to the bag. Okay, and for now, I want you presented to this side of the bag. So we get right here. And I'll say a number, and I want you to go to that number. So if you get to the bag, I'm going to say it about right here. Okay, so if I say two, 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 we go, our foot goes to the number two. If I say three, that's three. Okay, catch. Come right there to the three spot. So it's after they get the out. This is where their feet are going. Yeah. Okay. Okay, if I say five, it's just catch. We'll come to the five spot. Make sense? Four obviously would be right here. We all clear on the numbers? One, what do we do on one? I catch and come right to one, right? So it's your back foot that's going to that number? Yeah, yeah. I catch, okay. Now it's your front, well, it's your front foot. The middle. Okay. So I catch and go to two, three, four, and then where's five? Yep, right there. That's a little bit of a tougher one. Makes sense. So you guys are just going to go like this. It's going to be in your spot. You're going to run to the bag, hands up. I'm not going to say anything unless your hands are up. If your hands are up and you're not saying two, I'm just going to make you kind of look dumb. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you better present your hands to the bag and say two, 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 two. I'm going to say three. Boom. Makes sense? And we're not throwing the ball or anything. It's just that all hands. No baseball. Okay, let's make one line. Those are the five turns in turn and double plays. With the shortstop, are they still covering the same five or different? No, they're, they're different. They're covering, I don't know. You have to well, well, yeah, we'll talk that. about okay. it. Okay, ready? Present yourself to the bat. Two, 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 two. One, one. Yeah. I want you guys to throw and hop. Yep. Good. Come on, Cooper. What am I waiting for? Okay, start over. Three. Oh, it's all right. It's not as easy as it looks. Two, 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 two. Three. Guys, here's the thing. When we get to the back, just chill out. Just relax. Don't get all panicked, okay? I'm giving you plenty of time to think about what number. Get the out first. Yep, just relax. Break down, that's why we break down. If we come flying in like this and I say three, it's like, oh no. Okay, get broken down to the back. Here we go. One. That's all right. <laughs> One. One. Good. Good. That's really good. Three. The out first. Close. Three is a little bit more oh, back yeah, here. Right here. Yep. Guys, make sure you get the out first and then go. Three. Yeah. Good. Nice. I want you to throw though. Throw and jump. Four. Good. There we go, Zach. Get the hang of it. What do you mean by the jump? Five. Oh, oh, catch it. Oh <laughs> Jump like that so they get out of the way. Oh, okay. Of the base runner. Okay. I should have talked about it. Two. Good, that's close. Guys. Guys. 
We always want to have our left foot on the back though. I've seen guys come up like this and get all messed up. Get your left foot on the back, not the right foot ever. Ever. Okay, here we go. Two. Good. Wow, good job, Tyrese. There we go. Three. Three. Good. Now throw good. it. Throw it and jump, guys. I want to say it again. Jump out of the way. Four. Good. One. Good. Five. Good. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Nice job, Zach. Two. Good. Throw it and jump. Three. Good. Way to be athletic, kid. Four. Yeah, that's all right. Who started us? Zach? Okay. Last three. Five. Good. There we go. Four. Good. One. One. Good. Okay, come on back in. Okay, not bad, not bad. We'll do that again. Okay, I know it feels a little awkward, but those are the five from second base. Okay, from shortstop, we're not going to talk about it at quite as much because basically, as the shortstop, all we're trying to do is step to catch it this way and throw to first. Okay, that's basically the only one that we really want to talk about. Makes sense? So right foot on the back for short. Right foot on the back for short, yep. Right foot on the back for short. It's switched. And then we just step to it and catch. Okay, once again, at second base, do not ever have your right foot on the bag. That's like driving and using the brake for your left foot. Okay, don't be doing that stuff. Okay, left foot is always on the bag. Make sense to you guys? Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a challenging double play drill where uh, it's basically called two ball and if you guys do it well enough, we'll go to three ball. Okay, so all that's gonna happen is you guys are gonna be in your spot. The ground ball is gonna be rolled. You catch it, you get the ball, turn to double play, or you get the ball fed to the second baseman. And then as soon as you catch the ball, I throw you another ball, and you gotta go get it. Catch it and throw it and get a guy out. So as soon as you guys catch the ball, uh, I'm throwing another ball. Now listen up, this is the biggest mistake that always happens in this drill. Is guys go, they catch it, and they go like that and try and go get the other one. They don't finish the first play and the ball goes all over the yard. Okay, catch the ball, finish your feed, or finish your throw, and then go get the next ball. I promise I'm not gonna make it that hard on you. Make sense to you guys? Okay, and second baseman, same thing. I want you to try and get to this side of the bag if you can. If not, get here, and you guys should be doing one of the five in this. Make sense? If the ball takes you back this way, all we're doing is stepping to catch it, right? It's the same concept at second base. We step to catch every baseball that's thrown to us. Make sense? Okay, let's uh, disperse and get there. Yeah, this is a difficult drill for the most part. Okay, you ready? We'll start with shortstop. Second base, get ready. Get the Let's go. Double point up. There we go. Okay, here we go. You guys are still saying 222. Present present a target. Here we go. <laughs> two, two, two. Just drop the drop the ball. Second base, just drop the ball. Oh. Second base, just drop the ball. Okay, not right there though. <laughs> what? Did somebody grab those? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're going this side now. Good. Good, Cooper, good feed. Wow, nice job, guys. Okay, shortstop. Come on, Nick. Two, 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 two. Good. Two, 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 two. I'll jump, stay with it. Jump, jump. Good, but Zach, I want you to finish it, though. Okay, so you just caught it and kind of dropped it. Get your footwork. You just stood there at second base like this. I want you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Second base, right? 
Oh, two hands. Is no, 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 no. We're never doing that. Never doing that. I know it gets you on Sports Center, but it doesn't always get you out. <laughs> Got Sports Center visions for Tyson. Good. My fault. That was a little slow there. Good. Ready? Go ahead again, Zach. Good. Oh, we're struggling with the second baseball, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Nick. Okay. There we go. Good job. Good job, Nick. That's the way. Come on, Cooper, get there. Good, good job. Okay, now I'm not gonna go every other one. I'm gonna keep you honest and just throw them. Make sense? So I'll just throw them to whoever I want to right here. Got it? Both of you guys, don't, don't cheat. I'm gonna try and fake you out, so you have to be honest. Ready? Good. Where's the two? I didn't hear it. Come on, be vocal. No two call there. Come on, Jason. <laughs> oh! No glove flips, guys. No glove flips? No glove flips. Uh-oh. Get there, get there, get there. Forgot about that ball. Call it out, call it out. Get there, get there. Wow. Good. Call two on both of them. Ready? Get there. Come on, Jason. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Good. Good job. Tyson calling two both times. Nice job. Good job, Tyson. Ready? Two, two, two. Oh, go again. <laughs> Oh, again, you're all right. Oh, we got it on video. We're going to win AFP. You're fine. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Go get it. Go get it. Call it. Cooper, come on. Be loud. Cooper, are you all right? Yeah. Come on, say it then. Good, Zach. Hustle and get back to the bag. We hustle, hustle get Zach. back to the bag. Get there, Creighton. Good, Tyson. Two, two, two. Wow. Very athletic. Nice hold on job. One second. So you, you guys, hold on, listen. You guys are telling me that Tyson's not really a middle infielder? And he says two better than everybody else out here? Come on, there's no way that can happen. No way. You guys that are middle infielders need to say two every time. Good job, Tyson. Good. Good, there you go, there you Jason. Go. Get there. Two, two, Come on, Tyrese, get there. Two, two, two. Good. Next one. Two, two, two. Two, 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 two. Uh, Not bad. A little better feed, good job. Go a couple more. Get there, Nick. Two, 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 two. Come on, get there, get there, get two, there. Two, two, two. Good. Good job. Last two. Oh. Almost dropped it. Two, 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 two. Good, get the next one. Two, two, two. Good, Brayden. Good, huh, baby? <laughs> wow. Okay, everybody pick up the baseballs, huddle up. Nice job. You have an extra one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got the big time Gatorade. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can leave it right here. Well, yeah, go ahead. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. 
kids, right? Kids. <laughs> Jeez. So give me a couple things you guys got on that so far. On double plays. Two, 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 two. Okay. There we go, good. Well, that's a pretty general statement. What about it? Um, that if you're on second base, it should be your left foot. And if you're on shortstop, it should be your right foot. Good. One, okay. two, three, four, five. You got the one, two, three, four, five. What do you got, Zach? On the throw, if you're on second base, you will catch it, and then you go right and left and throw. Yep. And short stop, stop. Short stop. You step out and catch it. And then Good. Out. Three zones. Three zones. What? What are they? Yeah. We didn't get all the way over to the third one the that split, much. And just throw and then spin. Okay. Good. Makes sense to you guys. And we didn't really get into the easy calls too much, which is fine, okay? That's not, not a huge deal. But um, that's a, a pretty good job, okay? We got to get better at that, obviously. That's a big part of, uh, of winning games, especially when you get older. If you guys can turn double plays, that's a big, big weapon to have, okay? When we get to the bag, what do we, what do, we do with our hands? Put them up. Give them a target. Put them up, right? And what's the one thing we... What's the one thing that we have to make sure happens in a double play situation? Get one out. Get one out, right? Okay. You have to turn one before you turn two. I know, I know. That sounds really, really simple, but that's the truth. Okay. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Okay, perfect. What we'll do is we'll go back onto the outfield field. Okay. I want first, first base to be the plate now. And all that's going to happen is... Since we have seven guys, I'm going to hit the baseball at different spots, and you guys are just going to play it. That makes sense? So we're going to kind of put it all together, and I'll tell you if there's runners on. So we'll put it all together. You know, I'll, I'll hit the ball in the left center, and you guys have to call out 2-2-2, two, 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 all those different things. Can we take a quick drink? Yeah, yeah. Where's your rest tonight? Should be. So we're just going to go, instead of uh, this being home play, uh -huh. We'll have home play be out there. Okay. First base. Okay. Sounds so good. Do you want me to set? That base okay. replaced with that. So I want to move this, move this way and you guys just move everything else with it. So left field's not on the dirt. Stepping on his foot. That's fine right there. Thank you. Now you need to bring that one in. Is that going to be third or not? Yeah, one of you guys go grab that for Mike, please, and bring it in. Grab what? The, yeah, the orange base that's over to the right in front of the helmets. No, that's fine. Zach, are you getting second base? I think so. Right there, it's fine. Great, that's, that's fine. Just make sure it's in line. Scoot it back just a hair. Right there. I like Dennis. Guys, as soon as it's lined up, I want you guys to get out to your defensive spots. You guys do, and we'll go from there. Yep. Everywhere. Hmm. Who are you talking to? Cooper, you go too. Yeah? All right, here you go. <laughs> nice throw, right? That was my left hand. Nick. Nick, you're going to go shortstop. Tyrese, you're going to go shortstop. What? Yeah. Oh, we're having outfield too. Oh, never mind. We need a left fielder. Okay, we got nobody on, nobody out. There we go. Nope. Yeah, oh no. Stay with it. Okay, we got a runner at first base. Nobody out. That's it. Oh. Why does he miss a lot of balls right there? Is he just not coming forward? No, like he, he said just before. hurries and he comes up on everything. Okay. You gotta stay down, first and second. Nobody out. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, we got bases loaded. Know where we're going with the baseball. Make sure of it out. Hey, Ty. Tyrese. Here's the thing. We have no real base runners. They're all imaginary. Go slower. We gotta catch the ball. Come on. Still bases loaded, nobody out. Good, I'll give you one on that. Make sure and call it out. I'm not hearing it. Did you say 2-2? Two, two? Me either. I didn't hear anything. Come on, let's be vocal now. First and third. Oh! Good, get it in. First and third, two outs. Get it in! Four, four, four! Good. That's all right. Okay. Runners at second and third. Two outs. Oh. Leave that. Do over. My bad. Bad swing. Nice hustle, kid. Bad swing, Derek. What is it again? First and third? Second and third. Second and third. Outs. Good. Okay, switch it up, switch defensive positions. Try to get to your normal position though, Zach. Hustle. You go two. There you go. So if they don't, if they're not standing where they should be, or if they're not throwing where they should be on that scenario, will you stop yeah. and let them know? Nobody on, nobody out. Make a play. Good job, Nick. Oh, Braden, that's okay. We just have to get a glove on it, though, right? If we miss it, he's going to second base. You gotta find a way to get a glove on it. Runner at second base. Nobody out. Don't get it. Good. Third base, one out. Tyrese, hustle back! Just hustle back! Can you hear that? Line up to four! Okay, that's close! The ball's hit the left field, Jason. Third base is the cutoff, right? That's alright. You've watched somebody play at third, right? Okay. If the ball's hit the left field with a runner on second or a runner on third, who's our cutoff? Third base. Okay? Third base. And then, Nick, all you would do is occupy third base in that situation. Just replace him. Okay? Nobody on, two outs. Nobody on, two outs. Oh, good, good try. Tough play. Tough play, Zach. You have the right idea of backing up right there. Runner at first, two outs. Now, you guys are going the easiest way, right? Wherever the ball takes you. Takes you towards second, just go ahead and throw it towards second. That. It was good, but I didn't hear anybody say 2-2-2 two, two, two or 1-1-1. One, one, one. Nobody. You guys got to make sure. Remember the two things I said were speed of the ball and speed of the runner. Since we don't have a runner, we got to rely on speed of the ball. So if that ball's hit slow like that, you guys have to tell him. Help him out and say 1-1-1. One, one, one. Got it? Okay, switch it up. <laughs> Brandon, you make sure and get outfield this time. Let's 
it's making sense to you? Yeah. All good? Yeah, we're great. Good. Nobody on, nobody out. Good, Nick. Way to call it, just be a hair louder. One out, hustle back to your spot. Get there, Brayden. Three, three, three. Oh, we gotta hit our cut. Hey, middle guys, you were lined up correctly right there. Good job. You could probably move a little bit closer on that. We have to hit our cutoff guy. That ball has to be able to be thrown. Make sense? Hit your cutoff guy. Good job of lining up right there. So in that one, because it was deep, you would have second as the cut short here and third on base, right? Yep. Would it be a double cut or just go second uh, all the way? Right now. We yeah. can just keep it with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Just to make sure for a backup, I would go to, uh, to the Mount Rattan line. Say that again? Just to be like a backup, I'd go over to the Mount Rattan line. Yeah, place. yeah. You just kind of be like a rover right there. Okay. And just watch the ball. Good question. Third base. One out. Here we go. Fly ball, get lined up to four. Get lined up to four. Stay with it. Good try, Jason. Tyrese, you're the cut right there. Center field and right field. With the runner on second or third. First baseman's the cut. You're too late, Tyrese. Too late. Okay, we're on at first base, one out. Come on, let's get a double play and get out of it. Oh, Creighton, great job of backing up. That a boy, good job. Runner at first, two outs. Nick, I heard you say two, but just be louder. Good two call, just be louder. Good, Zach. Switch it up. Switch it up. Thanks for the beater. Yeah, no worries, man. That's good. Beat a right fielder. Center field, Crane, you're a little bit lined up this way. There we go. Nobody on, nobody out. Face hit. Oh no. Gotta play catch. Braden. When a ball's hit that hard, don't come in so out of control. Slow down. Slow down. And then we gotta play catch. Don't throw that ball away. So he didn't break it down yeah. and take the one hop, right? Yep, exactly. He just kind of flew to it. Okay. Run up first, one out. Good. Nice. Double play on that because nice. we completed it. Nice. Okay. Two outs, nobody on. Oh, dang it. Top spinner. Yeah. yeah. Great backup, Creighton. Okay, stay right where you're at. Stay where you're at. Here we go. Get over your head. Three, three, three. Get, get, Tyrese, you gotta be on third base. Tyrese. Everybody hold it. Outfield guys, if you can hear me, come here. Come in. That was a cool dig. <laughs> it was good. <coughs> okay, a couple things. So it's kind of my fault we haven't really talked a ton about double cuts. 
So I don't want anybody to double cut quite yet. Okay, but here's the thing, remember, Tyree, if the ball's going third, we have to have somebody on third base, right? Okay, so who, who is playing second right there? Me. You? And then who's playing short? Good. Okay, so on that play, you did it right. Just go, you gotta go out and get lined up to third. And then for the time being, I just want you to occupy second. And then we'll go over double cuts in a little bit, but or, or, or at a later time. Does that make sense? But it doesn't change. You still have to get lined up. And then as soon as, I, I'll call it out a little bit louder. As soon as you hear it, we got to echo it. Echo it and then get in line. And where does the ball have to be thrown? <coughs> to our cutoff, right? To our cutoff. Okay, let's get back to our same spots. Start over. Huh? What did he say? One. He said go one. Good catch. That a boy. One out. Ah, oh, dang it. One out. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Be a little bit louder. Two outs. Hey, Zach. Nice job on that, huh? Cooper, way to call him off and take it. Good job of peeling it out, Zach. Uh -oh. Cut it off. Okay, hey, that's all right. Jason, don't line up to three right there. Make sure you're lined up to two. You were a little too far that way. Okay. What did he say? He said he moved out of the way. Oh, okay. Okay, runner up second base, two outs. Get get to the beat. Oh dang it. Two, 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 two. Okay, I called two. I didn't hear anybody echo that. So Tyson, I know you weren't here last time, but that's when the catcher calls it and you call you say what he says so they can hear it. Okay? I'm essentially the catcher, so you relay that. Hey, run around first base, two outs. Ready, Nick? Let's get over this way, Nick. Here we go. Run around first, two outs. Don't get it. Good. Good talk, Jason. It's got to be a little bit earlier. Switch it up. Switch it up. We'll go six more out. So where would you put people? <laughs> oh, oh. Safe. Off the back. Good try, just better throw. First runner at first base. Get a little close. We should be in double depth or double play depth. Here we go. Back on the line. Oh, good play. That should be a double play. Ah! Stretch with the wrong foot though. You stretch like this, stretch the other way. Right foot should be on the back. Okay, one out, or what's the yeah, yeah, yeah. One out. One out, runner at first. Get there. Good play. Yeah. Wow. I'll give you a double play. Beautiful, right guys. Beautiful. Sweet. Switch it up. Last rotation. Nice play, Zach. Good turn, Cooper. Hustle, guys. Last rotation. Nobody on, nobody out. Let's see what we got. Catch it. Oh yeah, he stayed down. Hey, way to stay down. Stay way down, to... Tyrese, yeah. Way to fix it, kid. One out. That a baby, good job. Oh. Get there. Somebody get there. Oh, stay with it, too. Nice yeah. backup. Good. You guys, the runner's probably at first base because of that. Good job. Oops. Great back up, Nick. Atta boy. Runner at first base. One out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm going to say safe, though. Good job. Good turn. If we get an out right here, we're done. 
Oh, no. It's a good catcher spot, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sometimes go, go through and tell me what you think, okay? Okay, I'll do it right. Oh, he's off the bag. Safe. <laughs> well, Way good. to tag, though. That was pretty good. Okay. Just got to throw a little bit. That was pretty good, though. Good love action. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of heart. First and second, two out. Good. All right, bring it in. Okay, guys. Pretty good job right there. Okay, the last thing I want to make sure you guys can really think about in those situations, guys, is you guys have to understand where the ball's going to go if it's hit to you which means you think about it before it happens, right? If we're not thinking about it and then it happens, it's just completely reaction. We have to think about it before. Okay, you guys have gone over a lot of information today. Okay, there's been a lot of stuff thrown out there for you. So I want to hear one, one thing from each person by the raise of hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, four steps. Okay, one, good. Two. What's up, babe? Check your keys. I'm gonna leave them on your desk. Wait, thinking wrestling and my stuff's locked. Maybe. <laughs> you got it, buddy. <coughs> so one, two, three, four, five, double play. Let's go with Cooper. The zones. The zones. One, two, three. Explain them to me. The front one, flat. <coughs> front one. one, so it's one, two, and three. One closest to the base. Yep. Yeah, you underhand. Yeah. And the second one, you just throw it. Okay. And the third one, you spin. Spin. Sweet. Good job, Cooper. One, you're only got a double play. The second baseman tags the base with the left foot and then goes right, left, throw. Okay, awesome. Good job, Zach. What do you got, Nick? When you're on double play, just try for, to go for one out. Yep. You gotta get one first, right? Make sure one. You gotta turn one before you get two. Tyrese, what's here? When you're extra step turn to order before you have your right foot on the bag. And then whenever it's at you, step two. Yep, nice job. Have your hands up, consider, uh, like easy, easy, easy if they're close. Two, two, two? Yeah. Yep. Two, two, two. Good job. All right, let's hear it, Craig. If you're early to the bag at second, like go up closer so you can get it faster. Nice job, that's a good one. Awesome, nice job. Those are all great answers right there, okay? Nice job, though. <laughs> okay, the last thing, like I said, is you guys got a chance to watch the World Series tonight, hopefully. Okay. Who's so, going to win, Coach? I don't Royals. know. I think the Royals are going to win. <laughs> the Royals have some good momentum, but we'll see what happens, okay? But my point is, is you have one more chance, basically, uh, until next year to watch a baseball game, okay? Which means, to me, I, I try and learn as much as I can in that one game tonight as possible. Because you're not going to have many opportunities the next while to learn from those guys. Does that make sense? Okay, so if it was me, I'd go home, you know, if you have homework, obviously, get your homework done, but I'd go home and try and learn one thing at least from that game, okay? And I guarantee you there's going to be something that happens in the game that we've talked about before, I guarantee you, okay? So basically, like I said, I want, to, I want you guys to try and spend some time with the game tonight and learn one thing before baseball basically gets shut down for a while from you guys being able to watch it on TV. Make sense? So don't waste that opportunity if you can. Okay, are there any questions? If you guys don't have any questions, then what? Understand it. Understand it all, and then shouldn't make any mistakes? Okay, good job though, we gotta stick with it. My last thing I would say is, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what happened earlier when I was asking you guys questions. There wasn't very much participation there. I don't know if that's you guys are tired of hearing me, to, um, me talk or you guys were just thinking about school or whatever it was, but we can't have that, okay? Because that shows me that you basically aren't really there and not exactly interested in learning at that time. Okay, so next time... Please participate a little bit more when I'm asking questions. 
Okay, because that shows me that you understand it when you ask or when you actually answer the question. Okay? Do you guys all understand that? We're all clear on that? Okay. All right, guys. Well, have a good night. And then make sure you get all the baseballs picked up for Mike. Everything taken, uh, taken back. And we'll see you guys when we see you.